Hi there, self-care for teachers in order to live a life which is humane for yourself and for everyone that is around you. Let's do a self-esteem test for yourself. Are you a low self-esteem person or a high self-esteem person? And most of us, since most of us are somewhere in the middle, sometimes here, sometimes here, it could be like we are on a spectrum. So do a self audit for esteem for a couple of days. It's called thought audit. Uh, through a day, for most of your big thoughts, which are really strong and powerful thoughts, observe them and ask yourself, is that a high self-esteem thought or a low self-esteem thought or a neutral esteem thought? And make a note in a column. And what is the activity that led to it? I had a fight with my principal, my self-esteem plummeted. I went and gave a big hug to a girl who was struggling with some family issues. It made me feel good. That's a high self-esteem thought. And keep an inventory or do an audit of what are the activities that are leading to all of them. And once that audit is completed, couple of days, that's the time to sit with your inventory. And then I think you would know what to do. What are the things that make me feel good about myself? Maybe I need to do more of those. What are the things that make me feel bad about myself? Maybe I need to do less of those. Self-esteem is, is, is really a lot in our control. And we can improve upon it using our thought structure. We can work on ourselves by choosing the activities that make us feel good about ourselves as much as possible. I'm not sure if we can do it, do it for every, but definitely as much as possible, we can choose the activities very consciously and tell ourselves, I choose to do this because it makes me feel good about myself. And that's a self-esteem kick. I got it just now. Thank you so much and take care of yourself.